All right, so welcome to the podcast. Uh, first podcast of the week. We got some Nintendo Switch news, game news, and stuff like that that we want to go over. Uh, we call this Outcast Podcast because uh, we outside. We right here in Times Square in New York City. I uh, got the co-host Dan. Ye. Yeah. Oh God. And we're gonna talk about a few things. Um, we're gonna try to do a podcast every, uh, not week, but a few times a, a month. So, um, the first thing I want to talk about uh, is the new Nintendo Switch, and do do we believe that there will be a Ninten- a new Nintendo Switch? So, I say yes. Here's a few things. One, the first Switch is hacked uh, from the Tegra X1 chip. Uh, they can't patch it because that's a hardware um, exploit that they keep attacking. It's vulnerable to a hardware exploit. Uh, So they could do all the updates they want and it still would be um, hackable. So there's one. Two, better frame rate, 60 frames per second. I'm pretty sure that they are going to, the new Nintendo Switch is going to um, perform better. The battery life, I have I read the rumor that it's going to have an extra hour of battery life. That's cool. Um, more third-party support because of the Switch is going to be, uh, to me, I think it's going to be like 40 to 50% more stronger than the original Nintendo Switch. I don't think it's going to be anything too dramatic. I know the screen is going to be better. Uh, they said something about the brightness with the glare. Uh, we need to, uh, cause it's hard to play outside in the sun with the old switch. Um, so I believe that voice chat should be on there. Um, messaging should be on there. Um, I don't know if Dan ever heard of this rumor, but I don't know. Potentially it comes out next year. Also around the same time, uh, well, the same year as Kingdom Hearts. So I think that would be a plus for Nintendo if they could get Kingdom Hearts right around the time they released the new Nintendo Switch. What you think, Dan? I would uh, say that that's that's actually a good idea. That the, the new Nintendo Switch, which is still gonna use the the DS logo for the new, with that uh that that stuff around it, those symbols for like the amiibo. So. They're gonna use that and then just put Switch. You know. That's what I that's what I think too. Like new new Nintendo Switch. Or um, SP, you know, we out here killing mosquitoes. He's trying but, to eat uh, through my pants. Yeah, he's trying to get you. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be the same thing as the new Nintendo 3DS, n- new Switch. Uh, or I heard it was supposed to be SP or something like that. But um, I hope so because um, it'll be possible. It's not like it's not going to happen. I mean, each system that they had for like, um, I wouldn't say like, um, I know all the regular like handheld consoles they'll have an update for like that so like you know we had the 3DS, 2DS, XL and we had uh, the new 3DS which is just like a 3DS XL and then they stuck with that and then they made uh, the 2DS so I wouldn't say they're going to make a smaller switch I don't think they're going to do that no, so. I don't think so what well, my idea for the the new Nintendo Switch, it would have been um something along the lines of fixing like the old problems with uh, Joy Cons because uh, I broke my the first pair of Joy Cons. So did so I. Easy. But mine didn't break like yours. Mine's just like the buttons couldn't go in. I I don't know what happened. I don't play my Switch that often, so they just broke randomly. And then I got them fixed. And then when I got it back, the R buttons at the top, I guess they didn't want to fix it. Or uh, but, but my but my uh, switch melted like kind of. Oh man! Remember? Yeah, but you but everyone else has that problem because I don't play my switches often. I usually play um. Cause I play heat. all my systems like uh. I take turns. I go on no. my PS4 for a bit, and then I rock on the switch for a bit, and then I jump on my 3DS. Even though I don't got really that many games. Cause remember, I sold all like most of them that I don't play or I didn't need them anymore, and I just go around. So you all are breaking all your switches. My switch is still good, but not the Joy Cons. Even though I just bought my Joy Con 
broke first. Oh, Remember, man. it kept sliding off, and I was like, I everyone had, had that problem. All right, and then my switch melted. Oh, man. On the part, uh, on the top, the top where the heat sink That's is. That's another thing they have to fix the the vent. Right. So that piece, or right. just make a. I want to say make it metal, metal and then paint right. it, and paint it black so it can look like plastic, even though it's not. Yeah, they could do that. They could do a, like a matte metal black. Um, what else? The speaker. My speaker broke. I played with my Nintendo Switch all year with no sound. Well, suddenly I play Octopath Traveler, and it just died. My right. You start playing left, your games right. with volume. <sighs> Sounds good. I know. I'm missing all the soundtracks. I'm just reading because I'm traveling a lot. If you travel and play the Switch and hear like the great music and people, t- you will run into traffic and die with your Switch in your hand. You will be switchless, lifeless, less. <laughs> You'll be everything all messed up, but um, but yeah, I think those are. I think the new Nintendo Switch will come out next year. All can't I hope. Come out no later. All I hope is that uh, is either they, like uh, I wouldn't say a bigger screen or slightly bigger screen, just not like something you wouldn't notice. They said they may change the bezel. If you get rid of the bezel, the black around the screen, you can make the screen look bigger. But if they make it a little bit bigger, they should make it a. Uh, not width, just height. Because uh, making it longer just looks stupid and goofy. You yeah. know, wants to hold uh, just giant, long, thin nah, tablet. I don't, I don't think it's going to be any hardware changes. Besides, you could change the bezel. You can change the inside. Um, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a hardware um, issue. Um, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Put on your, your hoodie. That's true. Yeah, because these mosquitoes are trying to kill Dan. Um, but, but, um, really, I think uh, that's basically it. I think we need a new Nintendo Switch because a lot of problems with it, you know. Um, I wouldn't say, like, uh, because you mentioned voice chat, I wouldn't say that that's not a bad idea. I just don't think that's going to happen. No, well, the only reason is because uh, every game can have an update where they can use game chat. That's not even a, it's not even a what if, because mm-hmm. all you need is a headphone and mic, or like a combined version of that, like a headset, and then uh, you can play your games. I, I mean, but that's up to the people of like the people that made these games, like Fortnite. They right. made an update for that. Uh, Minecraft, they can make easily make an update for that, but they won't. Right, I think. Right, I was, I, I was gonna say that. A lot of people don't understand the technical part of the Nintendo Switch. There had, they have eight cores, I believe. Um, four high, four low. The low ones are for portable. So it's three low cores for the game, and there's one core for the system menu and everything else. Now, if you're playing portably, you can't use voice chat because it's always running. When you play the game, everything is still in the background for the home menu. But your battery would die. The battery only lasts for two and a half hours. So why would you want it portably with voice chat? Now, on the dock, that's where it should have used voice chat because it has four high uh um, course, so it should be better to do it right there. Plus, we have a USB port that you could plug up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But that's the thing. I think they should have took inspiration for the, because I know um, I know uh, Nintendo's teaming up with uh, Microsoft with some new ideas for right. stuff. Then they should have made a Pro controller with with. Uh, uh, yeah, you know exactly. where I was going with the headphone piece. Exactly. So you can actually play. Listen, I play Fortnite with my friends all the time. Me having a... When I play, I have to literally uh, put the switch on the dock and then put it right next to me. So I have to lift it up and put it on the floor so I can like play Fortnite to speak with them. Right. Un- unless I'm like using my phone to call them. But if not that, that just makes no sense. They should have just put it on the Pro Controller, which is like 
the best Absolutely. controller to play Fortnite with. Absolutely. I believe they should have di did the same thing, too, because everybody was saying uh, Microsoft had voice chat on uh, PlayStation 3. I mean, Microsoft had voice chats on the Xbox 360, and PlayStation had it on the PlayStation 3. Um, and they had it through their controller on the PlayStation 3, right? We had it through our controller, too. On the for a switch. On the, on the switch? No, not on the switch. Wii U. Um, Wii U. Right. So we Which made no sense. Well. And why would you want to... They basically downgraded for the... They, yes. Everything they had right for the... Everything they had right for the Wii U, they basically went down for the switch. So we had voice chat. It was um, different things like uh, you could save data for your games on a USB. Mm -hmm. Now it's optional with the... Uh, online and then you need online specifically to save your stuff and this is backwards right they need to fix some of this stuff like uh there's a lot of problems with the switch like a lot so hopefully the new switch will fix that but not even problems with the uh, hardware and uh but you you know what i think i think a lot of people want home console features but this is a real portable it's a hybrid, first of all. Let me just say it's a hybrid. So, yeah, you should have those options when you're in the house and you put on a dock and you want to play. Absolutely. But most of the people travel like me. I don't put it on the dock unless it's to charge. But I don't play on the dock. Unless it, oh, charge and record, yeah. Okay. I don't really play on a dock, really. I only play on a dock when... uh Fortnite. That's because uh, the you Switch has a problem. Well, some, some of these games shoot. have a problem uh, with volume. Right. When you're playing, when you're not playing. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead. on your back. But when you're playing off the dock, like you barely can hear. So I'd use a, like, uh, you know, headphones so I can hear. That's why I usually, uh, that's why oh, I ahead. usually play uh, on the... I usually play on the the dock. Yeah, <laughs> he he stopped playing. <laughs> Wait, he, he stopped talking. I because, said dock uh, for like. Yeah, time. right. <laughs> he stopped talking because uh, the mosquitoes try to get him. <laughs> Ten minutes. Yeah, that's what happens when you outside recording and stuff. But um, yeah. My arms itchy. See, I told but you. But they're not biting me. They just itchy because I don't like them around me. Right. They just. As soon as you see them, you start scratching like. You don't want to be touched. But, yeah, just keep it on. I should have bought mine, too. I should have. Next time. Next time. Hoodie up. Mosquitoes can't get us. But, um, so, we have the online. That's part of the online. Um, Dan doesn't like the online service. Um, it's dumb. I think, I think it's horrible. Listen, I love Splatoon, like, a lot. So, oh, yeah, me going back... I was gonna make a video, but I'm like too tired doing um like prepare for like a lot of other videos I'm doing. So uh, I go on Splatoon one day. I'm like, these there's costumes I'm not getting for Halloween, so I might as well go to the store and get it. I go open the game. I go in the shop. They're like, oh, what do you want from the store? They're like, oh, you don't got internet connection right now. Come back until you got an internet connection to get stuff from the store. I'm like, that makes no sense. I have internet, and I realize that you need to play online to do that. So why do they have everything locked unless you have the online service? Why the stores? I would understand if you go to the lobby trying to expect to, like, play online. They'd be like, yeah, you don't got online. Sorry, buddy. They <laughs> kick you out the store, and I can't get anything. So it's like, what's the point? Right. I think, how could you, like you said... How could you lock somebody out of the in-game store because they don't have online? Exactly. That Nintendo, man. I don't know. They don't want I you to have fun. I mean, they trying to protect their IP, their system from not being hacked. You can do all that and still give us what we want. Look at PlayStation and Xbox. But they're doing it right, but they're, like, taking the inspiration from them and doing it in a whole different way. That just makes it not make sense. Right. It just doesn't make sense. Absolutely. How do you lock me out the store? I just want to buy an outfit that has in-game money that I've been playing I think it's for free. free. And then now I can't even 
go to the store. So what's the point of playing right. Splatoon? Right. I think it's greed. It's just greed. You can't be that greedy. You can't be that greedy. They are. It's too. It's too. It's bad. You can't be that greedy, man. Um. But yeah. So. That was the online uh, part. I, I'm not online. I don't think I will ever be playing online. I'm sorry. I think I'll just play offline forever. Um, I'll probably get online when uh, near the smash date or because uh, uh, the Amiibos that are coming out for Splatoon, they got some of the dopest, uh, dopest, um, the dopest, uh, Outfits okay. that I like, so I'm gonna get those, and those come on the same day. And I feel like that's just um, a coincidence. Right. So they know that everyone's gonna be buying Smash stuff. So unless the Octolings are not in like Smash, you know, it make no sense releasing it on that day. Right. So uh, it's either that's happening, or they just did that out of the blue. Let's talk about this. It's still on the internet, on Nintendo Internet Service. Did you see how many dislikes? Oh yeah. oh yeah. In event, the the in event. You heard me. Internet video got. Oh, I put one there. <laughs> he said, "Oh yeah, I just casually put one there." But yeah, did you see there. what happened? What happened? They deleted the video, and then they re-uploaded again. And everybody that went there disliked the video. <laughs> They know it's dumb, yeah. and they can't and, change it. And they uploaded, I think today, uh, October, what are we in, 11? Uh, what are we in, 11 right now? October, yeah, October 11th. Yeah, that's funny. I said, what? Because I didn't see, I saw the internet video, and then I was like, wow, look at those dislikes. It had to be like 30,000 dislikes or something like that. That's just good. Went over there and just put I'll make sure I'll go fingers. put another one there today since you just said they deleted it mm -hmm. and they, they need to know that this is dumb if they're not going to change it for the better and give us actually good free games right because i don't want to wait for like a month just to play three games listen if they had like kid icarus they should have like one main good game mm -hmm. or two trash games that no one would play like i'm waiting for kid icarus that's not here and i'm waiting for metroid and that's in december why do i gotta wait well, with different, um, for me, I don't have my um, heart set on games like y'all, like most people, like, oh, Smash. But or, that's the thing. It's, if we're waiting for NES games every month, like like PlayStation, since I don't have Xbox and I can't, I don't know how they do theirs. They give us free games every month when you have PlayStation that works. So if you got the space, which is like a... That's the only reason. I think, okay, for the first party, I think they should just flood it. You know what I mean? They should just flood um, the internet, their internet service with the first party. Just throw it out there. But I also know they're working on the um, net play. So I don't know if that's a big deal. The last Maybe. thing, the la oh, sorry. The la but the last thing I saw with net play was like Dragon Ball, and that worked good. They did. They literally worked on that for like three months. But that's what I'm saying. If they if they put in all the two player games like Mario, whatever, um, on their server for NES first party, and they want you to invest in that, I think they just take any time because of that. But other than that, I think you should, I think you should just flood it. And then update it as it go. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. People play the game at least, and then put the internet patch if if they having problems. So they I'm still not have problems. Like they have Mario Party, which is like we've been waiting for that. That game, like you said, it should have been online, but still they messed up online. Right. You have only one good game and trash other other trash games to play. Nah. Listen, there's nothing better than the cooking game. It's like you're cooking tofu, you flipping it. Even though it's yeah. meat. Yeah, I heard. You flipping that, it. It's the game, best game. game was the best. Why is but, that the only good quality game? I guess the bean jar one is good, nah. too. Well. But the internet sucks. It, they said people get, like, they, uh, it's either they rage quit or they leave the, like, they leave the game 
or they get kicked out the game because internet pair to pair shouldn't be a thing. Right, right. They should go by server. That's another. That's another thing I don't like. They should have went with servers. Um, that's what they should have did. You guys probably hear some other people talking. So, um, so yeah, moving right along. What else we have? Um, yeah, we did touch on the Nintendo getting hacked, on the Nintendo Switch getting hacked. So let's talk about them for a second. Nintendo, the Nintendo Ninjas, they actually, um, stop certain well, how would they what they did they contacted the the guys that made the usb and i think they trying to stop them from selling um some devices or whatever to patch or to hack the nintendo switch and i know some youtubers got copyright claims because of showing you how to uh hack the nintendo switch um, but let but but that's the bad part. The good part of you hacking your Nintendo Switch, not because of the free games, because you could download. Um, you can change your themes yeah. to your Switch. You can save data. You could, it's you can save your own data onto the like a SD card or whatever. Yeah. Um, what else they say you could do? I didn't really get get too much into it. So, um, that's basically it. Like, I didn't get too much into it, but changing your themes is cool and saving your data because, look, it's behind a paywall now. Saving your data is behind a paywall. I don't, I don't like that at all. So, I don't like it either. I also don't like getting kicked out of in game store. Listen, I think that was like the dumbest move. They also, like you said, behind the paywall with saving your data and if you don't have that done like by like Nintendo Switch Online for whatever reason within six months you lose all that data for good what's the point of saving it and you can't get it back it should just be locked into your account then yes, they don't should. they probably have a place where they have it wherever it is and they just keep all that and like oh you don't pay you don't pay within the next six months you lose it so what's the point of saving it then Absolutely. So, that's another thing too. So you got six months to repay your yearly online service. I mean, I don't like that. I mean, it should just stay there. It should be free. Microsoft is free. Sony is free, and Nintendo is behind a paywall. It should be free. Like voice chat should be on. Every if okay if it's not on the system itself it should be on every game like these companies should take a page out of Fortnite and just unlock the damn thing just I know it's a just a code and just unlock it and that save cloud thing needs to be free it has to be free it should not, not be pay, behind a paywall man because what if I lose my my game right now with Xenoblade Chronicles of 300 hours of gameplay right now I will die oh, I will laugh. Wanna, I hate you. I don't want to play that game again for 300 hours. You know what I'm saying? All the missions and... Come on, man. Like, Nintendo need to step their game up. I'm sorry, but that's what they need to do. Uh, we got Smash coming out. Um, Smash is going to be a great release. We have um, Starlink. I just beat Project... I keep saying Project Octopath because I just like that name. Um, Octopath Traveler. I beat that. So that's good. Uh... What else? Tons of games that I got. Uh, Battle Chaser, I know that's old for the PC, but that's still a good game. Um, I'm back on Xenoblade. Great game. Um, I got tons of games that I got to beat myself, bro. Finish uh, myself. I don't got nothing. And you ain't got nothing. Look, see, not, not yet. Saying. Soon. That's what I'm saying. You got all these great I'll get games Starlink. I I'll get Starlink once I get my paycheck. It's taking wow. forever. Wow. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> But, yeah, but, so another thing, too, we're going to try to do tournaments as well. We're going to try to do uh, local tournaments. Nothing too big. Hopefully, we can get big one day. But um, to have something in our area, we really don't have anything in our area. So it would be cool to have, like, little um, 
game tournaments, maybe like in GameStop somewhere in Brooklyn or something like that for the for the locals. So. And speaking of Smash, uh, I saw the, the other GameCube controllers that these other um, companies are doing. Okay. But they, the other ones look disgusting, and the ones made that are licensed by Nintendo specifically, they look actually good. Oh, okay. See now, the other ones they look like the one, the one that I bought that right. I was trying to make. Right. Uh, customize it so I was ready for Ultimate. Right. They look good, but they just uh, they, they just don't look or feel good. So they just don't. So that's what I'm saying. When it comes to controllers, for me, it's the feel of it you know i don't really care for the look um if it's wireless it has to have like good um frequency i think it the wave bird was 2.2.5 2.4 and it had a three frame delay um and i think the gamecube controllers had a delay too like one or something like that so then what about these the ones that are bluetooth right now because the other ones aren't bluetooth, no, they aren't bluetooth. they're wired those yeah. other two companies the ones that are making the licensed one by nintendo they're bluetooth, bluetooth. they're four point something okay okay that's good with their bluetooth this one so was is that I good radio mm. it wasn't bluetooth it was i think it was mm. i think the, the wave bird is radio frequency or something like that and but this is bluetooth. bluetooth so okay. do you think that these controls are going to be good now i think they would be better because Bluetooth has always gone up, you know what I'm saying? Like with connectivity and, and the more like Bluetooth devices we have, we have low latency with them. Four point something. I remember being with Bluetooth at one point and it's like, it was so horrible. But now it's like 4.5 or whatever. It's just great. Yeah, the control is at four point whatever the last time I checked. So those are going to be good. And then. I know there's a few of them that's going to be a GameStop, which I'm going to nab, mm -hmm. definitely. But they're probably coming out after Smash, so it depends. If you no. go online and buy them, they're going to be like, uh, I know there's purple, black, and I think gold. Or is either gold's at GameStop with silver. So there's like a bunch of um, controller options for everyone that wants to... Play Smash a different way. Yeah, definitely. We need a um the GameCube controller, any type of uh, firm GameCube controller because um I don't know if those Joy Cons is gonna really do it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm a break mines. Right. I think they just sell for RPGs, adventures, adventure racing. But GameCube is more like fighter, fighting uh, genre type of controller, like the PlayStation Two. PlayStation 2 and the GameCube are the two best fighting. Um, only if the GameCube had an extra button on the left, it would be perfect. What else would it have? The click in buttons and an extra button on the left, it would be perfect. I would love that. Control. You know, now it shouldn't be an excuse if they want to yeah. make a remake to Mario Sunshine on the Switch because we have all these GameCube controllers. Yeah. They can do some remakes right now. In, in release, um, Soul Calibur, Soul Calibur 2. I would love that. That's what the people that made Soul Calibur want to do that deal. Uh, it, but that's what I'm getting at. When it comes to releasing games on a virtual console or whatever it's called, uh, uh, Nintendo Pay Service or whatever, I think that's what it is. It's like licensing issues for the third parties. Like, oh, put this on my game. I mean, put this on my system, put this on my server. And. I don't know how Nintendo do that. I don't know how they do with their business. I don't know. Do they got to cut them a check? You know what I'm they saying? They suck. So, so it's yeah. all about the Sega. Yeah. Um, it's getting pretty crowded. Out I here. know, so, right? Right. It's got, this it's is our noisy. spot. Oh, my right. gosh. It's and our all, spot. Uh, yeah, all of a sudden, everybody want to look at, look at, you hear this? Everybody want to come out. Got guitars, got umbrellas, holding hands, looking at each other in the eyeballs. Um, well, we're going to wrap this podcast up because it's getting a little too noisy out here. Oh, wow. um, this is our first time, our first podcast, um, outcast uh, podcast. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to try to do more when Definitely. we are more, you know. And try to find another area. 
because yeah, this area it, between is these good. people and the mosquitoes. Yeah, and the mosquitoes. But this area is pretty good. I just keep a hoodie on. But uh, thanks for watching, listening, uh, rate, subscribe to both our channels. Um, we're gonna have more coming soon. Check Dan T channel. He does uh, various videos. Um, for me, I just right now I'm uploading just regular gameplay videos. Um, but we really want to do the the Smash Brothers tournament and like old school gaming tournament locally at at our GameStop in Brooklyn. So hopefully, we will uh, do just that. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see y'all. Talk to y'all later. Dan, you want to say something? <laughs> Signing out. I'll see you guys later. Y'all right. see me on my channel. <laughs>